Bear in Acadiana is Ali Bear. The search for Al Bear continues. We found him too, though. Oh, and by the way, Al, yes. the word squoes, it yes. is a word. Whoa! Yes, look at you. I didn't know. You're welcome. I didn't know, and I can be all that when it comes to words. I didn't think it was. You are right, sir. It is. Follow You're welcome, instincts. Acadiana. There's your word of the day. <laughs> Thank you. Squoes. <laughs> I love that. We squoes an avocado. Oh, you did a great job, too. I mean, yeah, not. we're going to use that a lot more. Yeah. So now that we have our squoze and avocado, <laughs> Nina, what's next? Yeah, so we did add some sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And me and you were talking during yeah. break, and um, sun-dried tomatoes haven't always been a thing. Right. Um, but they definitely are now. It has um, such a flavor because this sun-dried tomato has herbs in it. Oh, nice. Garlic, salt. Um, and it just tastes, it just brings that extra oomph. You know what confuses me? They're dried in the sun, yet yeah. <laughs> I know there's liquid inside. They're, they put them in an oil. Oh, like a, okay. A preservative, preservative, I guess you would say. Because they're all know. dried out. Yeah, well, now you got to rehydrate yeah, them with oil. Hello. That makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> it's okay. We can do that. Okay. Thank yeah, God Al. Nina's here. Yeah. And um, so we're going to mix that up with our avocados. And uh, we have our cilantros and our onion. I'm going to add just a sprinkle of salt because, I, like I said, the sun-dried tomatoes already have salt, so mm -hmm. I don't want it too salty. So we're going to just do a little bit there. Saw how small that was. Such a pro with that. Yes. Um, mix You're very that careful up. with the salt because, yes. you know, you don't want to have cardiologists yell at you no, for all the sodium. No, not at all. We're trying to be healthy here. Uh, <laughs> and then also, um, normally I use like an egg um, type of egg roll wrap for the other egg rolls. Well, this is healthier. Ah, it's, okay. it's vegan. Oh, um, really? Yes. Didn't you so, add such a thing? Uh, of course. There's a vegan egg roll, and here we are making it. Um, good for vegetarians as well. Um, so there's a vegan egg roll wrap. I love right? that. Um, so you'll see at the bottom here, it's eggless. Eggless okay, yeah. egg roll. Eggless egg roll wrap. Only here on News 15 today. Um, so I don't know. I think I want to put you to the test. I, I can do it. You got Here, a glove? Grab your glove. Let me glove up. And we're going to grab an egg roll wrap and we're going to start stuffing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, these it? are great gloves. I can remove a spleen with these gloves. Okay. <laughs> can you now? You're so talented. Elle. You know, I try. <laughs> of course, they don't allow me to remove spleens, but. Oh my gosh. No, really, they should. You know, we're going to talk to them about that. If I can do this wrap, maybe I'll get my medical license back. Yeah, and so I'm not going to add too much to it because I want you to. So it's chunky. It's a little chunky. Yeah, it's a little chunky because we kind of cut it up funny. <laughs> but that's okay. So you're going to take this bottom half here. Okay. Fold that over and tuck it in. Tuck it in. Awesome. And then you're going to grab your water. You're going to okay. take a dab of water and you're going to put it on the sides. Okay, and this is gonna act like glue? Yes, and here as well. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left. All right, so press down here on the side. Oh, on the side. Yeah, like, yes. You're okay, look at this. closing it in, right? Okay, <laughs> title, look at this, I have a career. And then you wanna flip your sides over to close okay. it in some more. Okay. Okay, and then you wanna add water to the tip and then roll. Okay. Look if you're at watching that. at home, oh you could do this. Look how awesome that is. Oh, my oh, God. We have an egg Boom. <laughs> Oh, look, just in time, we're going to wrap. Yes. We're going to come back and we're going to fry this thing. We're going to go back over to Scott <laughs> like a surgeon. <laughs> Al, at the last employee meeting, uh, Adam and I were asked to weigh in on whether you should be allowed to remove spleens. <laughs> um, I'll let Adam fill you in with that answer. I can do it with an oyster fork. <laughs> Thank you, Al.